Monique and welcome back to the channel if you are new here hey how you doing thanks so much for stopping by don't just be a stranger though go ahead hit that subscribe button and join the family because here we go everywhere in life together and all we do is win today I'm about to take you guys on a tour Ooh. I've already done a house tour after we bought our house which we have been living in here for a year now y'all this journey has been amazing we are first-time home buyers we made a few changes here and there since then so just kind of want to get on here and update you i'm going to show you the main area but before we get into the house tour there's something i want to do in the kitchen with you guys we are about to become bob the builder up in here i'm about to add some cabinet pulls and cabinet handles to all of these cabinets why because they are naked and the only people in this house that could be naked is me and calvin all right y'all ready let's go what y'all waiting for let's go all right guys so this is what my kitchen is looking like right now without the knobs on the door as you can see here and then on this side of the kitchen i don't have anything going on as well so i got a special delivery from amazon i purchased some cabinet knobs in like this matte black so this is what the cabinet pulls look like i really like that i think it's going to be really cool as you can see look how it'll bounce off of that yeah i broke my last nail trying to open this stuff because this stuff is hard to open I also have some of the pulls for the draw. I'm going to put those here. So I really do, like I said, I think that black is going to set it off, bring a little character to the area. I got my man's drill. Top notch, baby. I'm ready for war, okay? So I'm using this one to kind of start the hole. I'm going to widen it a little bit with this one, and then I'm going to finish it with this one. So this thing right here is really cool, y'all, because look how easy it's going to make it. You just pull out your cabinet here and slide that on there, and it's going to sit it perfectly so you can know exactly where you want to put it. After some quick calculating, I discovered that I had 28 cabinet doors I had to do, y'all, and six drawers. So I went on ahead and called my husband. He was outside cutting the grass, but he came through like Superman as always and saved the day. Thank you, baby. All right, so the next thing that we have to change in here is this pantry doorknob. As you can see, it is silver, and that is throwing off the feng shui for me here. As you can see, it just, I'm not feeling it together, y'all. Oh my goodness, I think that the hard work paid off, y'all. I am so excited about this kitchen right now. Like, these knobs right here, the simple knobs just made such a huge difference. I'm absolutely loving it. But let's get into the details of the kitchen. Let me tell y'all one thing though, like this air fryer, this is Power XL. This thing right here, look close, look closely at me when I'm telling you. That Power XL is the truth. I absolutely loved it. I have not missed frying food on the stove since I got that bad boy, okay? I added this just to kind of break up all the black because I had so much black going on. And then this thing right here, I actually got this little bowl thing here from Home Goods. Um, me and my husband were trying to figure out what can we do with this thing, right? So he was like, you know what, baby? 
you could put all your spoons and stuff in there. I was so shocked because you know sometimes men don't be having no taste and all that stuff. So I was like, my man have taste. All right, boo. I see you. Now one thing I did end up changing in this kitchen was I had an H on the stove. Last time I removed that because I wanted to add a little rug in here. It was like conflicting with each other. And I was like, you know what? Rug wins. We're gonna keep that one. This came from Ross, I'm not if I'm not mistaken. But anyway, so we are over here at one of my other favorite places. And this is the kitchen island. I can fit four chairs there. By the way, I got these chairs here from Amazon and everything I can link, I'm gonna link down below. And I also got this sign here from off of Amazon. I usually put like whatever the meal is for the day sometimes, but for the most part, I really put like positive messages for us because like who doesn't go in the kitchen every day? This is the perfect place to put a message because you will see it. And right now we are manifesting the life we want. We are on the road to 100K in 30 days. We have a few more days, so make sure you subscribe if you have not done so. And another reason I'm like kind of, you know, telling you every little place that I got these things from, because I got these questions often after I did the last house tour. People were like, where did you get this? Where did you get that? So I was like, uh, let me tell you first so you ain't got to ask. So here's another set of flowers that I made. I got this little bush from Hobby Lobby. I got the vase from at home. I love it. It's so like sexy. Reminds me of a nice little woman's figure or something. And lastly over here we have this little bowl. I got this from at home. I think I like the look of this in the kitchen more than I liked it in the entryway. I really think that this was the piece that was missing. I was actually considering like putting uh, another uh, bench there, a chair or something, but I was like, you know what, I have enough seats. Let's do something different. So I still want to complete on top of the cabinets, have not really done that. I just stuck that up there. Don't really care for that too much. I do like this one. Again, you know why, because I like green. And over here I have this little plate that I got from um home goods so another thing i got a lot of questions about too are these beautiful pendant lights over my island here i got those from lowe's for the low low okay i love it because like it's it has this like black silver looking color to it then it goes to the clear here they kind of like give me this upside down wine glass feel too for some strange reason i don't know what y'all think do they look like it's upside down wine glasses let me pull one down for you just kidding but uh let me know down in the description if you think about it. so there's one more place i have to take you Ooh, look how that door not matches with that stuff there okay let's go in here I organized this recently. I'm out of spaghetti. Don't judge me, y'all. I got to replace that. I hardly eat any of these canned goods. They've been there for a while, so yeah. And uh, yeah, this is how everything came out when I organized this. I'll probably be reorganizing and changing around eventually. <laughs> Alright guys, so we are currently in the dining room. So honestly, there's absolutely nothing that changed in this dining room. But I wanted to show you guys this because a lot of people had questions about this beauty here, this dining room table. I got it from Rooms to Go. I think it's the Cindy Crawford collection, if I'm not mistaken. So I found this little vase here from at home for like 25 bucks. And I got these beauties here from, I think these came from Michael. I ordered this from Amazon and had to put it together myself. It didn't take much time, but I absolutely love doing stuff like that. So yeah, it was really easy. I didn't put much in here yet. Um, I just have this little black vase here. It's kind of see-through. And I have this little thing here from CB2. Now I wanted to kind of like put it on top here or something, but I didn't really like that chain look there. And it, it's shorter than I thought. So, um, yeah, I wanted the bigger, larger one. Now, I also get a lot of questions about this here. I made this myself. I got the eucalyptus plant from Hobby Lobby. This right here is actually for a candle. And I got this light from either Five Below for five bucks or Walmart for like about the same price. And another thing I get questions about is this other beauty here. That's how it looks when it comes on. It's really cool. Let me back up some so you can see. I absolutely love that thing. It's just so chic. It's so, I don't know, it's so unique. Like when I saw that, I was like, I had to have it. So this came from Home Goods for like, it wasn't even that expensive. I think it was like maybe 30 bucks or so. Now we have this palm tree here. I got this, it's a seven foot. 
tree i believe from nearly natural online um it is starting to like look like it's been going through a lot during this pandemic like many of us and it is tired it is like leaning and i've not had it not even a whole year yet because i got that one maybe in march if i back up like that you can't tell that um you know <laughs> is going through some things right now i almost forgot one of the most important things in this dining room area and that's this beautiful light fixture i put up here so those are actually crystal shades within it and i love that now i got that from home depot i believe so this rug here actually comes from at home i love the little diamond shapes that was within them uh yeah so that's it all right guys we have made it to the last room this is the living room we are almost there let's take a look so these two pictures i got from home goods i didn't really know what i wanted to do with them but when i found this space here i'm like huh, why not so we have this little coffee table that i found from amazon i put together myself again okay look who's here say hello can you move out of the way so that everybody can see the stuff thank you i put that plant together myself got the vase from at home this flower at home that flower came from hobby lobby put that together got a candle a few little books you know now this is my couch as you can see absolutely love it it's very very comfy let's come on this side over here so i got this from rums to go i believe it is a off-white leather sectional very very comfortable it has this little seat and a half here so it's really wide I added this pillow. This is different from last time because I wanted a little more color on it. I just had these, but it wasn't doing enough for me. So I wanted it to pop a little bit more. And I feel like all those colors kind of tie in together. And that material up there kind of matches that. So when you back up, it kind of just all just blends, especially since I have this piece here. So this is my favorite corner because as you can tell, doesn't this look familiar? If you watch any of my videos, I sit on the floor right here and I just record often. I have this eight foot mirror here. I got this from Rooms to Go as well for like 300 bucks. Got that on sale. That was so awesome. It's very, very nice y'all. And that's again, another palm tree from Nearly Natural and it is nearly falling out. So don't think I'll quite recommend that, but it still looks nice. Like I said, if you're not really just sitting over here, like staring hard at it, it looks nice, but I'll definitely be buying something else for that corner one of my favorite things in here is this fireplace it is a gas fireplace so all i have to do is press the little button under there somewhere i don't want to blow us up today trying to put that on to show you guys how it looks so we're gonna let it be for now all right we'll show you in the winter i can't forget about the rug though y'all i got this rug as well from rooms to go for about maybe 300 dollars or so it's looking a little rough it's been through a lot so oh i have to show you one of my favorite pictures let's come over here there we go oh look how they're looking into each other's eyes so much love i'm going to be putting a chandelier up here why because they put this random brown fan up here and it has to go and i almost forgot to tell you about the curtains these are the same curtains that are over in the dining room oatmeal color they are floor lint as you can see okay um got those things off of amazon these are 120 inches or 128 something like that can't quite remember but yeah i love them they just really set it all off up in here all right guys so that is pretty much it for the tour i hope that you guys enjoyed if you have let me know down in the description i'll also be doing some more home decor updates soon so make sure you stick around for those but that's it today thank you so much for watching and until next time yeah peace <laughs>